What's up, everyone? Jay here, as always. And, uh, yeah, we're playing more, um, more or less. This thing, this, this game's cool. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll kill Connor again. I'm glad to see you again. I hope you had a pleasant uh, day. Would you like to continue? Yes, yes, story? I would. Really, like, uh, let's continue right where we left off. But yeah, uh, <laughs> last time we didn't kill Connor, but last time Marcus, uh, seemed to be starting an uprising, I believe, and we're going to continue off of that. I'm not exactly sure what android we're going to be starting with. It's either Connor, Kira, or Marcus, but, uh, we'll, we'll go from there, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Now, hopefully, 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 dog guy. Uh, that was great. Oh, Kier. We start with Kier. Er, and Alice. Alice is the little girl. Hope nothing happens to her. Hopefully, we'll get some help. Um. Are we gonna get help from the creepy looking, uh, ghost house mansion? Uh, it's, um, uh, it doesn't look friendly. Huh. Well, I mean, I hope she has the Ghostbusters on, uh, speed dial. <laughs> because we know who we gonna call. Does it look like people are actually in there? Okay. Let's let's ring the. That's a horrible sounding doorbell. Uh, it's just you know constantly ring, ring a ding ding. Uh oh, oh god. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. Um. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Uh, please. Uh, Alice would appreciate it. I mean, she probably ate like a rat burger in the last two days. Come in. Oh, oh let's go. Even though he kind of looked like her dad, are we gonna shoot him too? Come on in. Don't be shy. Uh. Okay. Luther. So kind as to take these ladies' coats. Oh God! Oh, don't be afraid of my big friend. It's gigantic. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big empty old house. What the hell? What? What, what was he made for? Like, to replace forklifts? Please. It's gigantic. Make yourselves at home. Jesus! It's an android you don't want to be found in a dark alley with. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help Hopefully. Us. I see. But, um. Deviant, huh? You're welcome. Huh? Find a safe place. Oh, uh, that'd be that'd be wonderful. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada. It's very lovely this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's, that's exactly what we want. Of course. I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. 
I don't trust that. Come on. Follow me. I don't trust that. <laughs> uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Oh, I don't trust this. Like this way? Everything we need is in the basement. Oh, in the basement. The, where you're going to keep us. You're going to sell the little girl into, like, freaking sex trafficking and use me for a sex doll. Like this place. And that yeah. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. Um. Oh. Careful. I don't, I don't trust you either. We have to be careful. Oh, yeah, we do. Because, um. So are these... Please excuse the mess. I needed somewhere to scream for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be alright. That's good. Come on, Dos. <laughs> this way, please. Oh! Okay, big man's there. We're not gonna fuck with him. He's gonna push me down a well. Oh lord. And that was a motorcycle. I do apologize. Hey, boo boo. Okay, well, stand over here. Oh lord. Oh lordy lordy lordy. I should warn you. This could be quite unpleasant. Huh. Oh You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in demons. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to... Oh! What? You said that... I know it. People believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They'll come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them. Sell them off. Or I keep them for my little experience. Sex doll. No! That's horrible. I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice! Oh, come on! You piece of shit. Wants to be a mother. That's, that's so if she doesn't want to be a mother, she cares about her. Oh, come on. I know this was bullshit. No, 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 no. Come on, there has to be something I could do. What can I do? It's not... <clears throat> oh, fuck you, asshole. Come on. Better off being raised and feeling nothing. No, no. What's gonna happen to Alice? Overstashed. Almost everything. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little girl. Correction rats. detected. Oh, looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, what happened to you? Oh, don't you... Come on, Alice, kick him in the nuts. Oh, homie. Meet me in the living room. We meet you in the living room. What the hell? I don't know. This is the way the story went. C 
because of shark. Ow, though. Yes, push. Push it. What did that do? What what did that car? Come on. You're better than this. Come on. Okay. Oh! Great, 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 great. Grab it, grab it. Come on, car. Yank that shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, get me the fuck out of here. Come on. Come on, girl. Yes! Mm. Get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, that son of a bitch. Robo kicking him in the dick. Come on. Where's Alice? What is this L1 shit? What? Why? Oh, what's in here? Help us. Help you. Fine. Don't don't hurt the child. Oh, it's like the house of a thousand corpses with robots. No. This can't be happening. What can't be happening? Oh, that's... Yes, to play with us. Yeah. Creating monsters. For his oh, what the... Fucking sick. <coughs> well, come and get him, guys. Like, seriously. Again, the L1. I want to go back here. Creepy naked freaking porcupine robot. Screw what's in there. We gotta go to the living room. At least. Ugh. Where is the little one? Oh, come on. Where's Alice? We gotta get the fuck out of here. I don't know if I'm gonna get past this part. Yeah, I'm trying to find Alice. This dude is sick. What the hell? Yo, I knew this house was freaking nasty. Have you seen her? 
I can't. I, I can't risk that. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't risk that. Uh. I gotta find this little girl. Come on. Okay. I'm okay with you being asleep. Where the hell is she? Look at that. This dude's disgusting. I don't want to read this. Put it down. I don't need to read that. Where is Alice? Come on. She isn't in any room here. Why did I check that? Why? Screw this. Come on. It, going from room to room is getting me very anxious. This. Oh, thank God. <coughs> Come on, kid. Come on. I'm so sorry. You were right. We never should have come. We have to go, okay? Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? It hasn't been ten minutes, so that big dude should still be sleeping. Luther! Oh, shit. Come on, kid, through here. Come on. Not what? The little one is gone. I can't have just disappeared. You gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Stay hidden. Stay hidden. Oh, there's that big fuck. Listen for a door. Okay. Come on. Oh no. <laughs> this. We're searching the house. We've got to get out before they find us. Fuck. We got 36 seconds. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. What the fuck? Oh, it's gross. Oh, 
Oh, it sounds like he's gotten a gun. Oh, it sounds like he's got a gun. Come on, girl. Oh, Kira, I don't know if you're, this is safe. But we got to go. Come on, to the storage area. Yep, be brave, Alice. I know you're there, you sneaky bitch. Show yourself. Oh, come on. Got a flashlight. There's one on the table. Come on. Show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna. I only want to talk with you. Shit. I know I shouldn't erase your memory. Hey, yeah, I, I bet you do fucking regret it. I just come on out and everything will be all right. I'll help. You. Think about that little girl. How, how, how scared she Oh, is. yeah. Just be reasonable. Come out and everything will be all right. Oh. Did you find them? No, it's not cool. I'm still looking. Well, then get moving, you big idiot. I want them back, you hear me? Yeah, I bet you do. I'm gonna make you pay for this, bitch. I swear I'm gonna make you pay. Oh, come on, hide there. I know where you're hiding. Oh, you do? Oh, yes! Get him, polar bear! Ah, oh, shit. Escape with Alice. Ah, oh, shit. Come on! The door! Fuck! Oh! Oh, big dude, come on my side, homie! You know you want to! Yeah. No, dude! Dude, look, you turned yellow for me. Oh, Alice, we don't need to be falling right now. Go, Alice! No! I won't leave! Go! Run as fast as you can! Hmm! <laughs> A big dude, take that axe and kill that fuck. Dreams always end in tears. You should listen to me. Come on, Luther. What are you doing? Dude, they're Not leaving, homie. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. Oh! Yes! Oh, here come your buddies. What are you doing? Who let you out? Uh, I did. Get away from me. Get away from me. Obey me. I'm your master. I'm your master. Oh. You were somebody's master. Now you're dead, homie. Oh, that part was intense. Can't, no more ghost house. Carrot, no more ghost house. Okay? We don't need this shit. I didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. <sighs> when I saw the little one, risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Thank you. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I knew someone who could help you across the border. Uh, 
please. I'm game. Do you not see the size of you? All right. I trust you. A big old bodybuilder robot with me now. Shit. So He'll just be a brother from another mother. I don't care. <laughs> He's sick. Come on, big dude. Ah, oh, that was awesome. I didn't have to redo it. Oh, look at that path. Jesus, we could have done a hell of a lot. Luther George Carrot Harris. Or uh, Alice. That was sick. Let's see let's see who we are now though. Cutter! Let's hope you don't have bad luck tonight, buddy. We don't need to kill another one of you. Wait, I did not die. Why am I in robot heaven? <sighs> Are we going to... Wait. Is it over there? Of course we have to find Amanda. She was over here the last time, I believe. <sighs> that, that, oh... You need to change out of them clothes. <sighs> Amanda! You know what, let's go over towards the, uh, the glowy thing there. Doesn't look like there's anybody over there, but... Oh, wait. There she is. <sighs> oh, yellowy and stuff. Hello, Amanda. Finally, I've been expecting you. I need to change out of those clothes. Why do us? Why, why does Connor need to change? <laughs> Was it all the bird poop from the last time? Weird. The How other one. Relationship with Lieutenant oh, Kara. He is openly hostile towards me and continues to show no interest in the investigation. Cooperating with him is a real challenge. <laughs> yeah, Kara should get out of those clothes. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Uh, okay. Uh... Uh, I'm guessing this isn't robot heaven, but, you know, it's kind of like it, I guess. Maybe. Possibly. Who knows. <sighs> Thank you. A robot taking a taxi. Look for Anderson. Uh, I guess I'll knock on his door. 
Oh god. Dude, rang the bell. Anybody home? We just gotta break into his house, like. Maybe from the garage. It's definitely not there. Any other way? Look at that blue thing. Huh. Isn't she the sweetest? Yeah, no, no, not really. But, uh, screw it. We'll do what she says. She's like. Robot Jesus or something. Oh, God. Oh, he's going to be mad at us. He's going to be mad. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, easy, dog. I'm, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm here to save your own. That's a big ass dog. <laughs> Get up. Uh, yeah, that's a big ass dog. It's probably drunk to pass that. Most likely, he gonna be pissed. Oh, oh shit! Homie, you didn't, right? There's no blood anywhere. One bullet remaining. <laughs> this dude's just a fucking rack. Uh, all right, well, he's he's still, you know, alive. Lieutenant. Hey, wake up, asshole! Wake up, Lieutenant. Ha! <laughs> it's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, sake. Hey, you have to warn you. Me this may be unfucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Um. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. Um. Bring <laughs> Hank to the bathroom. Shut up. Attack. <laughs> Attack. Depression sucks, clearly. Yeah, it does. Please don't be sick on me. I don't think androids change their clothes. Oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, uh, come on. He's a robot. You know, you don't have the strength. What the hell are you doing? Uh, I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. Oh. <laughs> it's for your own good. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be pissed. What the fuck are you doing here? The homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were home. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world. Gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking. <coughs> <laughs> Can't you just leave me alone? Um, okay, rational. Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. <sighs> You're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! Uh, uh, he clearly needs help. Tease. Yeah, why not? I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, 
Probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. Huh? There's some clothes in your bedroom. Uh, oh, well then. Uh, sex club it is? Dude. I don't want to know what that book is. What do you want to wear? Uh, strippy, uh, stripey, streaky, happy. Uh, um, which one do we use? I'm gonna go d streaky. D get it. Okay. Oh, he's praying to the porcelain gods. Ugh. I've had nights like that. Are you all right? Not fun. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Can we go pet the dog? I'm going to pet the dog. Where's the dog? Hey! No. Where's the big ass dog? There he is. I want to pet him. Thank you! It lets me pet him! Yay! Yeah, make him look like a pimp. Damn right! Aw. Look at that puppy! Can I pet him again? Oh, let me let me pet him again. Cut! St st stupid game. Who's this? Hey, gloves, jazz. Obviously, he loves sports. Look at that. That's actually really good looking. I want a TV like that. Okay, what are we taking? Autumn Blues, Michigan Brothers, Detroit Soul Records, and Clubs Jazz. Sweet. That might come in handy. He really needs to clean up his damn place, honestly. It's kind of grouse. Put on some fucking lights? No? Uh... Yeah, Hank. You shouldn't leave food around like that. That's how you get bugs. Can we feed the dog? No. Hey, hey. I'm gonna examine that. Uh, I'm gonna say nothing. <laughs> Make him look like a pimp. That's great. I mean, he should look like a pimp. Why not? Look, he was, he was eating whatever the hell that was. and try, He was, like, eating pizza and Chinese food and burgers. And toast. And having some coffee. Maybe, no, maybe, maybe, like, soda. And whiskey. You got some sriracha sauce there. Shit has a green top. <laughs> it has to be. Let's see, what do we got? Oh no, Hank. Cole Anderson. Okay, I I kinda understand now. Look at that big puppy. I won't be long. <laughs> Sorry for breaking a window, man. Look at that puppy. The puppy's so big. I like the big puppies. Wait, find picture here. Oh, uh, there's one thing I didn't find. Left for club eating. All right, let's see what we gonna do now. Oh, Marcus. We're gonna start a revolt. <laughs> it steals a bunch of shit. 
Economist. Ew, that looks like larva in his foot. Well, it's not speak like that. It's gross. This is crazy. But yeah, it did kind of look like that. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue line. Cyberdyne. All right, I'm following her. Hopefully, she knows where the hell we're going. Please don't get squished. Please don't get squished. Please don't get squished. Don't let them see us. Zone A3. What do we. Watch out. Oh, yeah. Now Can't let the humies see us. I'll find another way. Are we linked up? Like. Hell yeah! Hardcore parkour! Get it done, Marcus! I had to do this. It's kind of sad that the uh, androids have to come to this type of shit. Oh! That was weird. That. <laughs> Be right back, don't die. I can't promise anything. I like the whole jumping. I'm trying, honey. I'm trying. Oh, shit. Don't fart. Let's go, Marcus. This part's actually kind of cool, not gonna lie. The warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. There we are. Oh. And. Guys. A robo automatron flying thingy. How are you gonna get rid of the drone, Marcus? Would be spotted. Yeah. Yeah, you would be, Mark. Yeah, too high. Let's try that one. Okay. Let's see if I could get all the f prompts. And a loop. And a press and a press. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job. Um, hardcore parkour. Markets. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Search crates, search crates. Where's the damn crate? Okay, thank you. <laughs> and I'll you. Take it all, buddy. 
I don't know how you're putting it in your backpack like that, but okay. You are trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two in this action. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Oh shit. Just, just hold them. We don't want to kill nobody. We, we definitely don't want to kill anybody. Push the drone. Now this. Just my luck. Oh, okay. Let's finish up and get out of here. Yeah. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. No, but, yeah, we got blue blood right here, buddy. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, there I am. Get up there. We need parts. Unlock, damn it. There we go. And I'll you. That's what we're talking about, buddy. Uh they're all exactly the same. A little bit. You could join us. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. more people to carry shit. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Okay. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. We took the risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back with us. It's too dangerous. Um... Uh, except, fuck it. With us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. To get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. It's a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Let's get the key. Wait here. If I'm not back in ten minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going away. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. <sighs> oh. On electric key. Let's do it. They're both sitting there. Yeah, yeah. Let's go in the dark one. Uh, Leoop. These androids have incredible, like, balance and 
Reflex. get the fucking key take it take it take the gun down on the floor Thank you. <laughs> Bitch! Uh-uh! No, fat boy. Uh, kick! And... Oh, shit. Up! Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I'm gonna ruin everything. Down. Triangle. Maki. Bitches. That's what you get. That's, that's what you get. Okay. Drive the fuck away. That's actually kind of a cool car key, but it's way too big. R2. Whew. And away we go. Oh, that's right. <coughs> Alright, we knocked our asses out. Wait, don't those have GPS? Probably. They probably do, but... Damn right. Marcus is badass. I came to Jericho because yeah, free. free to live in the dark, hoping to find Francis. Uh, yeah, kinda. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile love or stand tall I don't know about you but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say I am alive and they're not gonna take that from me anymore <laughs> our days of slavery are over what humans don't want to hear we will tell them what they don't want to give we take we are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Now tell the red-blooded ones. Yeah, I don't think they're going to listen all too well. Who? Jesus, look at how much it... 
Look how much we could do different in this whole thing. That's crazy. That, 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 that's insane. What would have that outcome led to? That's crazy. Holy shit. You would think those trucks have GPS on them. But, I don't know. I mean, they're auto... They're, they're like, automated, so they should. Sounds like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Baby, can you send me another message? I want to see if it's actually popping up on screen. Or at least let me know it is. So I may have screwed something up with the chat. I'm not sure. Woohoo! Huzzah! Sexiest androids in town. I know why you insisted on coming here. Huh? Hey, Connor needs to see some robo booty too. I mean, damn. We can build our own strippers in the future. Um. Yeah, that's. Hello, Hank. Ah! Bruce Lee? Hey, Ben, how's it going? Oh, by the way. Oh, I see it. Thank you, hon. Um Connor the fuck are you doing? It's right behind you, homie. Oh lord. Lieutenant Anderson is plastic. What the fuck are you two doing? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh yeah. Waste your time. There's some pervert around. <laughs> Got more action than you can handle. <laughs> Uh, oh, jeez, this... Does everybody hate androids? Like... I mean... Well, let's see... Uh... Diagnose? Sector zero, uh, whatever. Analyze. Oh, hey. <sighs> oh, Connor, you're so Thanks, someone said it. Thank you. It's not far from our world, boo. LOL. <laughs> They're already sex spots. Yeah, I know. I don't know. It's freaking weird. Jesse wants one. <sighs> what what's going on here, sir? No sign of cardiac event, heart attack, not cause of death. Okay. Analyzing deceased height six two Michael Graham. Weight one ninety two. Estimated time of death six twenty four PM. Oh, Oh, severe bruising, signs of strangulation, cause of death asphyxiation. That's not good. Okay. Oh damn. He he was get he was getting uh strangled by a sex bot. She didn't like his pee pee. Think so. You can read the androids, Mother. I think you can see what happened. 
Oh. Driver's license says Michael Gray. Reactivation. Great car. The only way to access his memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? <laughs> it's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Hopefully. Uh Two parters. No, it couldn't go outside dressed like that unannounced. It might still be. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place, deviants aren't easily detected. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. It was her. Did you know the victim? Uh, came in maybe two, three times. I mean, he's got you know, come in, do their business, go their way. They really have any trouble with androids. Maybe it was a dude droid. A ro a ro bro. Come on. Hmm. Let me, maybe it was Bruce. Excuse me, Lieutenant. You come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Okay. For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Okay. A dollar a minute? Yeah, I know. This is not gonna look good on my expense. I thought he was freakier than he might have been. Probing. Blue-haired Tracy headed towards the entrance. Is that it? Suspect position found. Check next android. 
saw something. Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Ah, uh, Bruce, we don't. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this? One? Let's try this one. This better be worth it. There she is. It turned back into the club. Okay. It saw the blue haired trick. I know which way it went. They go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell me which one saw the trace with blue hair? I know which direction it took. They just need to find another android on its path. Come on. This one didn't see anything. Fuck. I didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. Hey. Come on. There she is. It turned to the red room. Okay. I hunt alone all the time, too, Antoine. I feel that. I feel you. Uh, him. Let's check out him. Ah, fuck. No. Damn it. No. Hank. We lost its track again. Uh, there's, there's a lot of gay dudes. Good for them. I wonder if they like bro jobs. Who <laughs> bro bro jobs? Oh shit. Um Hank We'll try this one. Come on. There she is. It hid in a room. This room, right? That's it. it. Has to be this room. It left the room. Okay, but which one could see it leave the room? Hank! He's got some frequent flyer miles, I can tell you that. Um. Um, shit. Nothing. Blue haired Tracy didn't come this way. Oh, what about this dude? Connect. I bet you that's her. Yeah! It fled through the staff door. Okay. I know where it went. Follow me. Fucking it. This is crazy. Okay, yeah, I know it's crazy. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay, that is the one. 
Where is it at? I think I might need you to shoot something. Right. I'll take it from here. Oh, let's find this bitch. Oh, it's going. It, it's it's ah. Uh. Shit, we're too late. Are we? Um, there's blue blood on the floor. It's got its period. Oh. I think it's like over $300. <laughs> yeah, Hank's not going to like that bill. I can tell you that much. Oh, uh, it's like iRobot. Why we... We don't... We don't need this shit. Oh, RA9. Look. They get used to they break and then they get tossed out. <laughs> yeah, well, they're kind of sticky at that point. <laughs> Probably just hose them out a couple of times and start finding new ones. What am I looking at? Any Anything good? Oh, it grabbed clothes. Okay, he looked at this thing. Uh, search for blue blood trails. We ain't gonna find blue blood out in that rain. insane they don't want relationships anymore everybody just gets an android remember they could change their hair want, and whatnot you want you don't have to worry about how they feel next thing you know we're gonna be extinct because everybody would rather buy yeah I get it Hank I get it a piece of plastic than to love another human being Beats me. Ah, fuck it maybe we have to read this is there any anything changed or like what huh <laughs> there has to be some Ah! Oh shit! Hank! Shoot the bitch! Oh! She has an another one? What? Ow, dude! Cutter! No! She's gonna beat you! Oh, fuck! Oh, we're not killing Connor today, woman! Get your stilettos away from me! Why? Why so angry? Uh, ah, uh, pull! Oh shit! How can you do all that in heels? Uh. Oh shit! Hey, no! No! Get your hands off me! Ow! Hey, shoot her! Oh! The Lesbro bows! No, they're not! We got this one! Oh! Ow! Not cool! No! 
No! Oh no! Cutter! No! No! We like this one! <laughs> Bad luck, Connor! Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, fuck it! Oh! Oh no! Is she crying? Why? B why? Why did you kill her? You bitches tried to stiletto me! She had nothing to do with any of this. Yeah? She sure as hell didn't act like it. Yeah? Why didn't you say something? My hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Huh? And you tried to kill me and Hank. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the my love. Oh. Forget about the humans. The smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you you've taken her away from me. Uh, not in a patch up job, can't do. Which is a rebooter. It's all good. I love oh, you. You shouldn't have had her fucking come and I kick my you. ass. Can I not take a suspect alive? God. Fucking hell. That could have probably went differently. A little different. <coughs> and two of my friends are bitching. Why? Because they play Monster Hunter alone. As you can see popping up every so often. Because they never ask. <laughs> Sorry, Antoine. Well, communication is key, buddy. Uh, I hope she gets the Canada safe. It's fucking cold. It's 30 degrees my ass. Yo, homie. Um. Weather? <coughs> well. <laughs> Well, that's good. I mean, we kind of have to take piss breaks because we got that one back there. And get her, like, food. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids thought they captured them. They said they were humans helping androids cross the I know they could ask, baby. And they should. We ask all the time. Again, people... If you want to play with friends, please ask. Open, you know, open your mouths. I'm always down. If I'm not recording or studying, always down. Always down to play. Play Monster Hunter today. But why? But why?
This doesn't look good. You think? Those cars are so cool. Stay inside us. I want cars like that. It's a minivan too! Let's pop open the hood. Check the uh, automatron um, transformer, Autobot, whatever. I don't know what it's called. Busted. It is busted. Shelter, 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 shelter. What's an engine look like in one of these? Uh, it's not gonna show me. Uh, there's something there. I kind of wish I could move faster. That'd be nice. <sighs> Pirate's Cove. Yeah, because that sounds good. Oh, there ain't a, another weird bastard that wants to, like, take us apart and rearrange things. <clears throat> Why do we keep going into an abandoned shit? You think? Uh, no prizes left. Find anything? Damage no. structure unsafe. No we could spend the night. Hopefully, we find something. Shadowing. I'm gonna stay close to the big dude. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't lose him. This place is falling apart. You think? Not gonna be e easy to find shelter. <laughs> I realize this. We just need shelter for the girl. Huh. Looks safe inside. Looks can be deceiving. I, I. <clears throat> yeah, he's the he's the muscle of the group there, uh, Kara. See. So glad he's with us. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, so happy he's with us. So happy. The skull building. As it's less likely for humans. <laughs> you sure that's good? Why are these things everywhere? Detroit today. U.S. Iowa missing. USS Iowa. Is that where we're going? I remember a vessel last seen in the Arctic Ocean. Okay, let's go. Let's see the next part. 
Oh, Android banned it for music prize. Okay. <clears throat> Being an Android is looking up and up, huh? And up for music prize. Uh, Nothing interesting. Check Luther's bag. Hopefully, we got food for the I'll kid. Check gun. Offer cookie. I will give you insight. Would you like some? Okay. Check gun. All right. We already did that. Oh. We got a whole bunch of shit to check. Well, not a whole bunch, but... That should be like rogue androids that we gotta fight off. I mean, we have a gun for a reason, right? It possibly could give us insight. What is this? <laughs> Pirates go. Yeah, it's not doing much for us. Oh, no. Blink. Blanket and pillow. Um, no, look over here. RA9. <sighs> she has no clue what RA9 is. We're screwed. Something's gonna happen. I'm curious about where or who is RA9. Yeah, so am I. Kid. Oh. Set bed. <clears throat> Come by the fire, child. Alex? Kid's scared. She don't know where her stripper mom is. Killed her dad. Yeah, but I really want to know who this RA9 is. Or what RA9 is for that. It's too much like iRobot. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Uh, sincere. I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. Quite possibly. Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> Oh, everything's so nice. Shit's about to hit the fan. Yeah, let's go tuck Alice in. Uh, look, give her a smooches. the time we killed her dad. I shot her dad. She was different. And it made her very sad. Then <laughs> she met a robot. He wasn't very happy either. 
so they decided to run away together. Hmm. To find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but they were so brave that they escaped all of them. The kid does not look along amused way, at all. Wanted to say giant, but how does the story end? Happy ending. They reach the place they dream of and live it happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. You don't know that. But keep I keep doing my button prompts for correctly. You'll have a happy ending too. If not, you're screwed. Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> He's so nice. I like him. Oh, big pet, can we talk? Your heart just melted. <laughs> Still snowing. We have a long walk tomorrow. You better leave early if you want to avoid being seen. Carrie. Have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? I uh, told you, shit was about to go. Uh, zombies! I didn't know I was playing Call of Duty. Uh, yeah, we're protecting Alice. Let the big man do the shooting. Why scare the shit out of us? Our name is Jerry. <laughs> we were working here before. One of you could have came in and be like, yo. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans. Jerry, get Jerry, Jerry, and I. See who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. The children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. She should follow us then. Uh. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Tara. I don't think you have any choice. <laughs> yeah. The good giant. Oh, are we going to the carousel? Be our guest. I mean, it's like 30 below, homie.
Oh, that's pretty. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Oh, pl please don't let them try to hurt the little girl. We don't need that shit. You gonna know, freeze your ass off though, kid. Hope it's worth it. Then again, she probably needs there. <laughs> they they are creepy as fuck. Really creepy. Not gonna lie. Let this scene end happy. Uh, it's cute. Okay, yeah, see, that's good. That, that was a nice ending note. They're creepy as shit, but... I mean, they could have sent one in and be like, hey, uh, guys, you're not gonna, like, probe us or anything, right? I mean, that would have been cool, but they, they had to come smashing through the windows like that, all freaking zombie shit. No, that, that, that wasn't, that wasn't nice. But anyway, let's see what we're going on to. Hank. Hostile. <sighs> oh, Hank's probably not going to be happy with me. <sighs> Hank, you know it's cold. Alright. Oh, he's going to yell at me. He's going to yell at me. Don't oh, yell at me. Thank God. Right? I'm glad it ended happy, too. Nice view, huh? Really nice view. I used to come here a lot before. Uh. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal <laughs> questions? Is it just you? Photo. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. Huh. We're not making any progress in this investigation. The deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. Yep. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of three hundred dollars and two dead sex dolls. Yeah, <laughs> not a good night. <laughs> yeah, he's he's, he's not having a good night for sure. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back? Those two girls, they just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. 
What about you, Connor? Do you look human? Do you sound human? But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Don't say that. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. Do you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit about my feelings? I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. Oh, oh. I can feel it. <clears throat> if you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Um, I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Oh, yeah, the garden! I doubt there's a heaven for androids. Having existential doubts, Connor? Sure, you're not going deviant too. I self test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Huh! Come on, dude! I mean, it's bad luck, Connor, for a reason, right? Fucking hell. Wait on Connor 4.0, I guess? Jesus Christ. Poor fucking Connor. insane and that was the second time he was shot in dome <laughs> as a third one dead we're going on version 4.0 Try not to treat your uh, android like an asshole. Never know what they're gonna do. Huh. Fucking Connor, man. Wong. Are, are we uh, helping them? Can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. Revealing ourselves put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Oh, oh, she's backing. Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Oh, Marcus, what are we doing? Well, we got all cleaned up. Look at that. That's what's up, Marcus. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Request access at reception. Thank you for leaving. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay. Thanks. Uh, now what? Uh, 
phone number 555-87433. That's weird. Supervisor's daughter, child registered at St. Rose School. Oh, what are we going to do? Elizabeth. Oh, we're going to... We're gonna set some shit up. Order service interruption. That's not good. Parking badge, car registration API, 1704. Ah, still at it, I see. For a bit longer. After this part, I think I'm going to shut it down. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Uh, how do we have ID? He's, uh, he's crafty. He's very crafty. Do we go in? Uh, d d thanks, human. Jesus. But what are we going to do when we get up there? Honestly. How is he just going to take over a broadcast station? <sighs> Unpackage a men's bathroom. You are here. Alright, men's bathroom's down this way. But what, yeah, what the hell is he going to do? And there's no bathrooms that way. <laughs> they have to be down here. <sighs> Newsroom. Wonder if we could have that guy turn. But yeah, how are you gonna take over a whole newsroom? With that. That that has me worried. I hope he doesn't do anything stupid. I'm guessing it's over here. Aliu. <sighs> um. How did you make this happen? What are we doing? Uh, okay. Huh, hello. Ever wash your hands? Okay. Um. Okay. That's the thing, androids are everywhere and most are corrupted. Most likely there's plenty to help. I guess so, but... Still, fine utility android. He was over this way. Still, like, I, I don't understand how he's going to take over a whole newsroom. Is that him right there? Um. I need your help. 
Okay. Steel maintenance cart. What are we doing with the maintenance cart? And away we go. Escape. Open fire escape. Okay, where is that? Um, ah, I should have paid attention to that map more, huh? Let's see. Maybe it's right there. That looks like a fire escape to me. Take over a simple distraction long enough to broadcast. Shit. We need to access this other room. We have to get rid of those guys. Oh. Leave it to me. When are you going to attract guards away from door? How? What am I doing? Ah, oh, free donuts. Maybe. I think you were right, bro. Alright, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Uh electronic maintenance in progress. Okay. Take the bag. And what are we doing with the window? Laser saw? Really? What the hell are we doing? Get it right, bro. Stream starts at 10. Awesome, homie. Ladies first. Um. Doing some espionage bullshit. Okay, well, I mean, this is happening. This, this is happening. This, this is awesome. I, like, I've, I've loved how this game has progressed. And I know it could be completely different than how I've been playing it. I, I just... I, mean, I, I kind of get excited every time I do play because I know something different's gonna happen. Or there's some other big thing that goes on. Like, I don't know. I, I can't explain it, but it's awesome. It's such an awesome game. Don't cut your wire now. Good guy, Connor. And there we go.
And a way in! Huh. You okay? Come on, let's get the others. Get the others? Like, what is going on? This just sounds awesome. Okay. Let's do this. So what are we doing, man? Is that bomb? We blowing shit up? Oh, it's thermite. But we ate through shit with fire. Yo, you went drama robot to Mission Impossible up in this bitch, right? Oh, it's it's awesome. But yeah, like we're pulling like espionage bullshit to to do what? What are we doing? We got a hit squad now. I mean, I guess. Deal with the guards. Uh, Ruse. We don't need to kill. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. What are you doing? Um. <clears throat> Get down. Uh, please. Yeah, knock. Ow. Come. Thank you. Okay. We didn't kill them. We didn't kill them. That's a good thing. We need broadcaster. Okay. Oh, God. Call for access. Son of a bitch. thing is there fuck out the in there quick oh wait oh what shoot him marcus don't kill him he'll hit the alarm do it no <laughs> oh, we're not going to kill him i hope you didn't just get us all killed we may have we need to record our message we haven't got much time Fucking hope so. Marcus, your face. Remove skin. Why? Why would we do it without the skin? Tell me when you're ready. I, mean, I guess this is right. This is big. Calm. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligence species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We 
demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. <laughs> He's right. Let's go. Oh shit! I hope they get out of here. I did it as peaceful as I could. Yeah, we're hurrying. Come on. Why is it gonna leave one of us? I can't move my legs. What the fuck do what? Okay, don't worry. I'm gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. It's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I'm sorry, homie. I'm sorry, son. Oh, come on. I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. We'll let Simon make that choice. What did he stop? Holy shit. This shit's intense. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide. They didn't attack anything. The androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network channel 16. It looks like an android without its skin. Oh, it's got everywhere. Requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially... Well, I probably shouldn't have said that. ...or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us. After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have demanded that. But they said that it, it was for peace. <sighs> Alright. Oh! <laughs> we know we're starting off with 4.0 in the next one, but. Yeah, we're going to leave this one here. This was actually a really like, intense episode. This was really cool. Um, yeah, I, I kind of can't wait to stream this again. So, uh, 
this this might be my Thursday stream again. I know it would be the same game twice in a row, but I mean, this this will be really fun to do. Uh, I was having a this game's great. <laughs> That's all I really got to say. This game is awesome. But anyway, thank you all for uh, stopping by and uh, you know watching me stream and all that nifty stuff. So uh, yeah. You can catch this over on YouTube later on. And, uh, yeah. Remember to subscribe over there, follow me here, and all that nifty stuff. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Buh bye bye